In this video, I'm going to be showing you exactly how to download the profile for iOS betas. If you wanna learn how to get the latest and greatest software releases for your iPhone, then this video is for you. How's it going everyone? My name is Shayway and welcome to Shayway Tech where I cover lots of stuff in the tech industry. Today in specific though, we're going to be talking about downloading iOS profiles, specifically the beta profiles and how to install them and how to use them and get the latest features on your iPhone. So that Without any further ado, let's go ahead and do a screen share and we will get started. So guys, we wanna start off on the beta website. What we wanna do, I'm actually gonna do this in a private browser so you can uh, see what it looks like when you're not signed in. We wanna just go to beta.apple.com. On beta.apple.com, let me zoom in just a little bit for you here. You can see that it's going to show you everything about the new releases and you'll see a big blue button here that says sign up. We wanna hit sign up if we're not already part of the program. If you're watching this video, you're probably not. So go ahead and hit sign up and fill that out and get signed in. So now that we are signed in, you're gonna see a few things on the page here. It's gonna tell you everything about the latest releases as well as a option to get started. So now we wanna click get started and then it's gonna give you an idea for the public betas. So we're gonna actually do iOS, so we wanna make sure iOS is selected, though this process is very similar for iPad OS, Mac OS, TV OS, watch OS, you name it, this is how you would do it. It just depends on what device you're on. So specifically for iOS, which is what this video is about, we're just gonna leave it on iOS and scroll down here. So in order to get started, you need to make sure that you enroll your device. So we wanna click this link here that says enroll roll your iOS device, so we'll click that. And before we go any further, make sure that you have a backup of your device. I cannot stress this point enough. Keep in mind that this is beta software. If things go wrong, you could lose data. And if you don't have a physical backup stored to your computer, you could lose everything. So make sure that you have a backup before continuing. On the website here, you'll see how to archive a backup, but we're gonna assume that you already have that done and continue. So step two, we need to actually install the profile. So right here, it would say allow if we were if we were on a iOS device, but as you can see, we are not on an iOS device. I'm actually doing this for my computer. So we need to go to beta.apple.com slash profile on our iOS device. So I'm gonna be doing that from my iPhone here. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and open up Safari here, and we're just gonna go to beta.apple dot com slash profile. Oh, you can already see it's already coming up as a top hit. So we're gonna just click that here and look at that. It's already signed me in on the Apple website and I just need to scroll to step two and then click download profile. You can see it says download profile now instead of uh, the grayed out little button that we saw a minute ago. So I'm gonna go ahead and click download profile. It's gonna come up here and say the website is trying to download a configuration profile. Do you want to allow this? We do wanna allow this. This is actually something that Apple has released. So we're gonna hit allow. And it's saying now that we need to review the profile from the settings app. So we're gonna go ahead and swipe out. So I'm just gonna swipe down from the top and go into settings. Then we're gonna scroll down here to where you see general and then we're gonna click that. And I have a software update, but this is not the one we want. We want something even newer. We want the beta. So I'm gonna keep scrolling down to where you see profile here. You wanna hit profile. And then from profile, you can see the profile beta is now showing here. So I have the iOS 14 and iPad OS 14 beta software. And what we wanna do is just in the top right hand corner, we wanna hit install. Once you put in your passcode, you're gonna be on a screen here where it's gonna give you the terms and conditions. Uh, you either accept these or you don't, so choose wisely. <laughs> and then we're gonna hit install and then install again. So it's saying for us to install this, we need to restart our device, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna stop the recording and then restart my device. Restarts, restarts. It's taking forever. My screen is really dirty. Okay guys, we are officially restarted now and now we are going to just go back to settings. We wanna go back to general and then now when we go to software update, it's actually gonna look for a newer software update. So we're gonna tap that and you can see now it's prompting me to download the 14.5 public beta. So we do wanna download this beta, so I'm gonna click download and install and then put in my passcode here and install it. So guys, from here on out, it's going to be just like any other iOS 
update. It's gonna take its time, download it, and then you'll have the option to install. Once it turns back on, you will have the latest public beta available on your device. And these are gonna contain all the new features that Apple's testing. And keep in mind that not everything's going to run perfect. It is a beta, so you may see some glitches, but that's just that just comes with the territory. So I hope you guys found this interesting. If you wanna learn more about iOS devices or just tech in general, or you wanna see some tech news, then this channel is for you. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any future content. And if you liked this video, I'd appreciate it if you drop a like and maybe check out some other stuff on the channel. Thanks so much, guys. My name is Shayway, and we'll see you next time on Shayway Tech.